<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to us here. This is uh, Hunter here. I'm here with Scott. Scott, how you doing, sir? Doing well, thanks, Hunter. Good, man. So, guys, wanted to let you know, uh, if you like what you're hearing, thank you so much again for listening. If you are a returning listener, uh, like us here, uh, follow us here on SoundCloud at the Real Pineapple 775 You can follow Mr. Scott Nearman on Twitter at Nearman the First. You can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. And like us on Facebook. Thank you so much. Um, guys, uh, we are talking about uh scott's favorite movie that we've talked about <laughs> in the whole hey. so scott so i saw this actually i saw this in theaters actually i remember because i was in if memory serves correctly yeah yeah i was in austin at the time if memory serves yeah i was in austin and i went and saw this at the alamo draft house where you know they have food made to order it's like a little restaurant so Sounds i got like a good time yeah, so I got a Royale with cheese. I got a Guinness. Damn you. Cake. You know what? Just, I don't like to say this to friends, but screw you for saying that, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you play your cards right. But <laughs> hey, we all know how that, how that ends, don't we? Yes, we do. So, Scott, tell, you know, I I feel like I always talk quite a bit, so I would like to get your thoughts. So kind of walk us through this. What what did you think about this, sir? Well, a lot, I thought a lot of things about this movie. I just, my biggest thing is John Travolta, personally. Um, not to mention this movie is, like, thrown together. I'm, I'm not even sure, is this, like, is this one day, or is this, like, because they, it starts with the, with, uh, excuse me, John, John Myers, uh, has apparently he's training to be a spy or work for the CIA and whoever and John Travolta is apparently training him um and it's the simple case of crazy messed up cop and good cop so and I think it's a day. I, I'm not sure. I still am not sure the timeline that happened in this movie, whether it was like a weekend or one day <laughs> or because like throughout it was like dark at sometimes and they just never addressed it. <laughs> I under. I get it. I get what you're saying. I just talked to someone recently who saw it and didn't hate it. And I told them I didn't t- take John Travolta seriously. And they were like, well, well, I didn't take him seriously in a lot of movies that he's done. And I was like, okay, fair enough. But for me personally, I, I've seen – he's he's the Pulp Fiction guy to me. That's, that's like, who I remember him mostly as, that kind of badass. And I know it was kind of cheesy, but I, the, the bald hair with that douchey, like, mustache, goatee, uh, just – Really cheesy lines. I was just... You could just hear me sighing and (laughs) eye-rolling from a mile off that entire movie. It was just really, really dumb to me. Like, I didn't get that, like, oh, this is, like, silly, dumb, funny kind of thing. It was, like, I I don't want to finish this movie. (laughs) Okay, this is what I'll say about this movie. I mean, John Travolta, he's been in some movies I really liked. Uh, Thin Red Line, Primary Colors. Uh, a Civil Action is really good, if you've never seen that. Um, but then he's been in some movies that are terrible, like uh, The Punisher, Ladder 49, uh, Old Dogs, um, Sword Savage. Fish. So, oh, God. This is, Battlefield Earth, which is still one of my least favorite movies I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Wild Hogs. Um He's been in some some shitty shit. Uh, he's look who's talking now has a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> like if that yeah, let's not you. forget he was in Look Who's Talking too. Yeah, I mean, so let's not act. You know, no, that's Look Who's Talking now. That's the third one. You know, that was a trilogy. Ooh, I didn't even see the third one there. Mm-hmm, there you go. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Baby makes three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, he's done some really bad movies, but 
Look, I so I'll I, I will agree with you on the whole thing about this being a day or not. I couldn't tell. I was sitting there looking at the movie and I'm like, I I feel like this is a day. Don't you but... feel like it was like just like really cloudy a lot of the time almost? Like it was just like, okay, is this day or night or where where are they right now? Are they just oh they're just kicking some ass? Okay, cool. Like I'm back in it. They're just it... kicking people's ass. And also, if you are not a white person in this movie, you are gone so quickly. Like, John Travolta, this should have been called, this movie should have been called From Paris with Love, a.k.a. Minority Bingo. Because whenever, whenever Minority was on screen, John Travolta, like, stabs him in the neck. Or, and then like, calls him, him a slur, and then as he it, slices his throat. Yeah, it, 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 it's, you, you can tell they probably, they should have gotten Mel Gibson for the movie. At least it would have been more realistic if they'd done that. But th- this movie, it's all over the place. Even the plot, and I've watched the movie a couple times, I still don't get what the plot is. I think there's like a, so there's like a bomb with terrorists and Jonathan Reese Meyers' character, James Reese. Uh, he works for the CIA, he's, but he's he, like a train. He's like a trainee or something, right? I thought this that was yeah, kind of like he, his protege. Yeah, he has like this dumb, like cushy day job, but you know he wants to be out in the field because you know why not? And so um, they team him up with uh, John Travolta's character, whose name is what Scott? Charlie Wax. Charlie Wax, hell yeah, <laughs> and and him and Charlie Wax, God, what a dumb fucking name. <laughs> they team up to stop this terrorist plot. And I'll tell you right now, Scott, was there any point where you didn't think that uh, Jonathan Reese Meyer's wife was in on this? Like, did, did 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 it even not cross your mind that, oh yeah, she's involved? Because that's all I thought yep. the whole time. As soon as you see her, even the way she's like being all lovey-dovey, you're just sitting there, you're like, you're, you're giving her just enough personality uh-huh. for me enough screen of... time to be like okay she's gonna be an important character yeah and so when you know when the shoe drops and it's like oh she was involved she's involved aren't you shocked i was like no not at all i actually saw this coming from five minutes in but um so i will say there's just some of these there's some of these scenes um there's a scene where john travolta like jumps out of a window in like parlays down the side of a building and it's so incredibly obvious as a stunt double that I was just dying. Um, there's a point where John Travolta's Charlie Wax uses a rocket launcher. <laughs> I think that was the point that broke me, Scott. He just, he's on this overpass trying to like take down these terrorists, has this rocket launcher, he just pulls out of his ass that they had in the car, and then just shoots <laughs> like on a crowded freeway. It just blows his car to kingdom come, and you know, the Ferris is just like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just another day. Man, just another day in Paris. I mean, so the funny thing is that this terrorist p- plot is to, like, blow up Paris, but John Travolta and Jonathan Reese Myers are they're doing a pretty good job themselves. They're just destroying shit, or even the Avengers would be like, you guys need to tone it down a little bit. It's just two of them, but they're destroying buildings and I'm artifacts. I'm sorry, they, they made out Jonathan Reese Myers to be such a pussy in this movie. Yes, they did. Like, and that was partially the annoying part, is that he was so cowardice and, like, really, like, oh, oh, wait, whoa, I can't believe you just did that. Whoa, John Travolta, you're, like, the coolest thing to ever happen, ever. You're, like, I just want to, like, suck your dick right now because you're just so cool and you have a sweet mustache. You are not convincing me. Well, to be fair, he did have a, a, a sweet mustache. I mean, let, 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 let's, you know, let's call a spade a spade. But, uh, but overall, man, I mean, the movie, it's bad. It's really, 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 really bad at points. And the movie does kind of turn... The movie feels like it turns to you a couple times and just shrugs and goes, like, what did you expect? Like, were you expecting something better? Uh, The guy who... uh, Actually, not who wrote this, pardon me. The director of this is a guy named Pierre Morel. And uh, he actually directed this movie called The Gunman with Sean Penn, which is atrocious. But he, he directed the first Taken. So so I thought parts of this were directed well. Um, they definitely did a lot of quick cuts so you couldn't tell. Well, you, you you know They were trying to make it so you couldn't tell that it was, uh, wasn't John Travolta doing a lot of hand-to-hand. But I don't know. I, I didn't hate this. I mean, it's... 
dumb. Believe me, it's dumb. I'm. This is the perfect definition of a TNT movies for guys who like movies. But like you, you were saying, you you went to a theater where you had a couple of drinks, and you're like, I'm here to have a good time, and you probably went knowing going into this that it wasn't going to be the best movie you've ever seen, right? Am I wrong? No, no, you're totally right. So I just, you know, it's not, again, it's it's not bad. Uh, okay, let me take that back. It's bad, but it's like, because it is a bad movie. Like, it, it really is. But it, I, I can see how it can be, it's, it's so bad it's good, or like a, it's just an action packed. It's like a Jason Statham movie, like we just recently talked about. It's just like, you know what you're getting. Exactly. So, I mean, it's dumb, but it just wasn't dumb enough to make me angry. I mean, this was at no point even close to Independence Day. I, I didn't, I was, wasn't pissed. I was, I was, honestly, I was just laughing at the movie at points. Just, it, it was impressive. Some of the bad dialogue the arrow pull off and some of the stunt work I actually thought was pretty well, pretty well handled. And even, you know, the Pulp Fiction reference, you know, Mean Mrs. Jones. And, we got a thing. We think that. We think that. Right. Going on. <laughs> Till death to us part. And then he like loads his gun. I'm like, oh, John Travolta, <laughs> you're such a badass. <laughs> and then he th- he pulled out the Royale cheese, as you yeah. previously uh, mentioned. Yeah, it, it you know it it's a bad movie. It is cheesy as all hell. I mean, there are, there are all she's almost are as cheesy as this movie, but. To say I didn't enjoy myself, I did. I I really did enjoy myself. I had fun with it. Again, it's dumb, but it's a fun dumb. So I would give this a, I'll give this a C minus. Um, yeah, I this one this I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, here we go. About this movie, but it just it, this is one of the ones that made me mad, and John Travolta was number one suspect um this movie grossed 23 million dollars uh so f- well let's see as of the 26th of february um and it budget was estimated 52 million dollars and i think that it should have probably made half of that 23 million dollars <laughs> damn damn i don't get it i don't get john Travolta. i don't get people thinking that it's just, it was so cheesy, it was so poorly written, that it, it was very cringeworthy, and <laughs> I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the cringeworthy movies that are just so bad that I just can't, uh, I can't enjoy the violence and the action and the John Travolta kicking people's asses all over the place and shooting people in the face and blowing things up with a rocket launcher, which should be awesome, but I just can't, just can't get past it. And yeah, this movie can go fuck itself. Really? Go <laughs> fuck itself? Damn. It might be on my worst of the list. Worst of holy, list. Holy, holy crap! Jeez. All right. Damn. I was not expecting to go fuck to go go fuck yourself. I was expecting maybe a D, but damn, anger. Give it a D for damn. Just like seriously, I was not expecting that. Well, cool. Well, if I ever just want to, well, you know you're getting for Christmas now. <laughs> Damn it! No. no, don't ever do this again. From Paris with Love, you're getting the Blu-ray Ultimate Edition. If it from exists. Hunter with Love. <laughs> That's why I tell every girl I want to cuddle them from Hunter with Love. <laughs> right before insertion. Just like whoa. <laughs> to Hunter from Hunter with Love. <laughs> <laughs> from, 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 from Hunter of Love. All right, open your legs. Here it comes. But anyway, <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll have reviews up this weekend for Daredevil Season 1 and 2. We'll go ahead and do a big group, uh, group review on that. Uh, we're going to have a review up for uh, Ghostbusters as well. I'm very curious to hear what we all think of that. Was that and then we'll, that was that was better thing. <laughs> and we'll have a review up from Mike and Dave need wedding dates as well, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Welcome you guys have a good night. The...
perfect way to end. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm 